this. As a matter of fact, they've got earnings tomorrow morning, Scott. In front of those earnings, we've got a buyer of 5,000 of the May 5 calls. Stock was trading a little bit over $5, 5.07 at the time. For 27 cents, they bought these May 5 calls. I thought that was pretty interesting going right in front of the earnings itself. Next, I've got energy for you, XLE. So the energy ETF, if you look at that, 43% of that ETF is made up of Exxon and Chevron. So that's a lot of what you're getting. On top of that, you get a lot of those beta energy names as well. But with it trading right around 74, we had a huge buyer, 8,000 of the July 85 calls, looking for this thing, buying a little bit of time and looking for that upside move, about a dollar and a quarter. What makes this very interesting is that buyer, it happened in one single print. So that's a pretty big trade. Interesting to see that. Next, I've got Valero sticking with energy. And Valero, this is another one of these names within the energy space. We talk about it a lot of the time. This was trading about a 107. What they did, Scott, was they actually rolled some calls. They sold calls that were working very well, the 110 calls, and they're actually buying the June 125 calls. They bought 8,200 of those calls. Those calls are going for about $1.50. I'm in all of these positions, and I'm expecting to see, especially with Nokia, that's tomorrow, so we'll be finding out pretty quick. You know, people are thinking Nokia might actually have the, uh, the first good quarter in ages. I mean, I'm getting this from industry people. Yeah. The, I think, it, Pete, let me, let me ask you, isn't $5 a great call <laughs> option in itself? Oh, yeah, that, that is. It's a call that never expires, Jim, unless they go completely tank. But, yeah, so but these yeah. are very inexpensive options as well, 27 cents. So they got a shot if this thing can actually perform and get a nice earnings number. Uh, I like the risk word of that, Pete, very much. And hey, let me ask you real quick about energy. So if other things in the market are falling because of concerns of a slowdown, if the only thing, only thing, keeping oil from falling is geopolitical. If there's resolution on the geopolitical front, is oil and oil stocks, energy related stocks, are they at suddenly at risk like everything else? There's would be? two kinds of, of oil stocks. So the ones that are returning capital at an aggressive level. And that's, that's really you know, led by uh, Devon. Rick Moncrief he created this new method of a variable dividend. As long as you're north of 75, you're gonna, you'd be able to get a 7 8% yield. And then there are the ones that I think are just pure momentum. Uh, and you have to be careful because there's not that many momentum ones. Uh, but I, you could argue actually that Exxon, believe it or not, is momentum. Uh, Chevron reports Friday. They both mm. were. Chevron is up a huge amount, but uh, Mike Worth, the CEO, has indicated that he will buy every share possible. So I think that there's a. Do I, all right, this is going to one day haunt me, but I think there's a secular <laughs> case to be made for oil in a world where geopolitical tensions aren't going to go away anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, speaking of Devon, you did buy 150 shares of Devon yesterday for the charitable trust. We bought more because I like that yield 7 to 8, 7 to 8 And uh, Halliburton on Monday. All right, oh, see. my God, Halliburton, let me tell you, that's the one that doesn't have the dividend. But they reported an amazing quarter. Everybody has to everybody has to raise their numbers. There was somebody who raised price target to 50 today. This is Halliburton's, this is Halliburton's time. This, and it's been up a lot already, but this right. is their time. So if you're excited about, or if you think Jim's excited about the way he talks about Halliburton, wait until we talk about Ford. And Jim Farley. PayPal, Qualcomm also after the bell. We're going to look ahead to those and get the trades ahead of the results. Dow's up nearly 400. NASDAQ.